if you want to go bigger it's up to you but if you want to make the most money per rye this is what i suggest <laughs> Another beautiful morning. Good morning. Yes. How they look? No bugs. Okay. I see one. Hey, good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing? I'm doing good. Anyways, today um, <clears throat> we're going to be going ahead and I'm going to show you guys uh, basically, you know, the proper spacing of the farm when planting trees and the best varieties to go with and a couple other things, but not until I finish my coffee and feed my ducks. <laughs> so let's get started. Where are you going? Okay guys, so let me get into this video for you now. I'm going to explain, again I'll just recap it, basically your, ultimately how you want to space your trees, how big is a rye, how many trees are going to fit on a rye. Okay, so some pertinent information for you. And then finally, I want to go over the best species to grow, the most common one, most recognized, the one that's going to be accepted in the market for you, so it's going to be easy to sell. Even if you want to sell it yourself, sell it to the exporter, sell it to the middleman, whoever you want to sell to, or you just want to, you know, feed your relatives, feel like it. So, anyways, guys. So spacing, real important. If you want to do a high density farm, a modern farm, then modern farms, their spacing as close as six meters on center in the row, okay? And in between rows, seven. That would be your closest. The current farm I have now, the current farm I'm walking in, okay, uh, I planted six by seven. 
the farm that I'm going to plant this June. I'm sorry if I'm making everybody dizzy doing circles. I'm making myself dizzy. But over here, that is seven by seven. Okay, center, seven meters by center, uh, seven meters on center. One rye has 1,600 square meters. So if you're spacing seven by seven, well, I'll just break it down like this. I've got, I've got 11 rye right here, okay, that I'm standing on. Six by seven spacing. Excluding my house and my pond, it's about 10 rye. And I have 350, okay, I got 350 double trees, so that's 700 you know, 700 trees, right? But if you're doing individuals, that would be, um, you know, 35 per rye. And that's even with having setbacks, you know, uh, a couple meters, well, not a couple meters, three, three meters in the back or three and a half meters in the back, three and a half in the front for driving. And then I've got about three on the side over here. Okay, so you, it's good to leave adequate area to you know enter and exit your farm very important you got to be able to drive around it in a tractor in a pickup truck i see a lot of people make the mistake they get all greedy and they just cramp everything in there and they have no access in their farm and don't go plant next to your neighbor's fence you know and then expect they're not gonna you know cut your branches that's just retarded i see too many ties do that sorry guys and uh it's just wrong you just, bad business planning, that's just bad planning. So leave adequate space all the way around, and it's rude by the way, uh, all the way around your farm to have adequate uh, ability to drive around, collect your fruit, fertilize, whatever you need to do, come in and out. So per ride guys, 35 at, uh, at six by seven. Seven by seven, you'll probably be down to 32, you know, 30-ish depending on your spacing that you live, leave in between uh, your fence and your rows, okay? So uh, that's really pertinent. We've gone over the square meters in a rye at 1600. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So this is a high density uh, planting method and it's gonna require you guys pruning your trees, keeping control of your trees, okay? Um, if you're growing grafted durian trees, well, if you just let them go without pruning them or anything, they could grow upwards of you know 10 meters tall. But we want to control our trees. We want to keep them within that six to seven meter range, okay? And as your branches grow out, of course, trees will accommodate each other. But uh, as a farmer, you're going to prune back your branches. So if you have a six meter spacing, then your branches shouldn't be more than two and three quarters meter coming out. You don't want them touching in between your rows, right? You don't want them touching or in between this way or that way. You're just gonna prune them back. That's all you gotta do, very simple. Yeah, there's gonna be guys out there say, oh, it's too much work, whatever. It's, it's actually lower labor, higher production per rye you're gonna get. Okay, this is the highest production per rye, the highest yield per rye. This is modern farming, okay? So this is the way to go. If you wanna go bigger, it's up to you. But if you wanna make the most money per rye, this is what I suggest. This is what the professionals success, suggest. So, all right, guys. Now, variety. Variety is really important because um, depending on your skill level, where you're at, you're starting off. You're probably, if you're watching my video, you're starting off and you want to get something pretty robust. So if you screw up, your whole farm's not going to be toasted. And that you're going to be able to sell the product. Well, guys, then that goes with uh, Mong Tong. Mong Tong. Pretty much 80% of the stuff you see on the side of the road is Mong Tong, okay? Uh, and, and let me just flick this camera around and I'll show you Mong Tong. So this is, this is Mong Tong, okay? Very robust tree. Um, it can weather a lot of stuff really well. D disease resistant more so than other species. Fast growing, as long as your soil is good. And uh, it's gonna be widely accepted in the market, okay? So, if you want a species that's going to be widely accepted in the market, less prone to disease, grows fast, and you're going to make really good money on, easy to sell yourself or through a you know middleman or exporter or whatever, then you want to go with Mong Tong. Okay? So there you go, guys. This is the basics pretty much. Getting started. You know, your, your spacing important. Your setbacks around your property, important. 
your species important and then you know the pruning right and you can see here we could talk about pruning in this video too you want to you want in between you don't want branches stacked like if i have i have a piece of fruit hanging here okay it's going to come down right so that's pretty close this is kind of close but as the tree gets bigger you know this space will grow uh, up in here though, right? You can see it. They're, they're stacked up. They're too close. Eventually, I'm going to have to cut one of these branches. Okay. I've pruned from here down already. So I've left, I've left space. I've taken out the branches below this one here so the fruit can hang. Same thing here. I've taken out the branches below that. This one here too. This one goes to the side. So you got you to gotta consider where your fruit's going to be hanging and you're going to prune it. Now, as far as the height of the tree to control the height... Once my tree gets to roughly seven meters, I'll prune it back about 75 to 100 cm. And that's a hard prune, but what that's gonna do, it's gonna prevent the tree from growing up anymore. And then it's going to strengthen the branches all around it, right? Those branches will just get fatter and it'll prevent it from growing. Will it try to grow up still? Yes, it will. It'll have uprights come up and you just, you know, you do that in your annual pruning. You just take that off to control your tree. And again, when the branches come out too far, you control the length of the branch and you, you prune it back. Okay, guys? Really straightforward. Um, I'm not there yet. <laughs> I don't have trees that big. But that's how I'm going to handle it. And that's how other people that have trees that are established, farms that are established, that are doing it. There's a, there's a farm called Double Tree Farm in Rayong. I've been trying to... Get a hold of that lady. I wanted to interview her and go put her farm on the in the blog here. But uh, she's got a beautiful double tree farm. She's got trees doubled up and they're spacing just like mine. And she's pruned it back perfectly. So anyway, maybe if any of you guys know her, I've reached out to her several times, but I haven't heard back. So maybe you can help me out. All right, guys. Hey, let me know in, in the uh, in the comments if this was helpful for you guys. Okay. And I'm interested to know. Uh, how many of you guys are out there looking to start a durian farm or interested in it? Go ahead. Let, let's talk in the comments. And if you made it this far, I mean, just like the video and you should probably subscribe. So, if you haven't subscribed already, maybe uh, subscribe and that'll help me out. Cost you nothing, but it helps me out tremendously. And likes and all that does too. I appreciate it. All right, guys. I'm going back. I got to go to my other farm this morning. And I've got some work to do on it. My wife's already taken off. So I've got to load the truck up with some supplies. And we're going to be spraying the farm over there. Maybe I'll put a little bit out on tape today. But uh, anyways, guys, good on you. Thank you for being a subscriber. And we'll see everybody in the next video. Yeah, Life is great. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, life is great, yeah? Yeah, that's what I thought.